Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today is the first episode of the vegan special where I'm going to be cooking up a bunch of vegan keto dishes. So today is a bit of a cheat recipe because I'm going to be making delicious cauliflower makhani bites. Now this is similar to the chicken wings I made, the butter chicken wings and the chicken butter chicken. This is basically butter chicken in vegan format. Now how are we going to do this? Well, let's go and find out. Enough jibber jabber now, time to make these cauliflower makhani bites. So the first thing we're going to do is break off the cauliflower florets and you want nice bite-sized cauliflower pieces and make sure you wash your cauliflower. Once that's done, we're going to put it in a bowl and put in a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to season it with some salt and some tandoori masala. And if you don't have tandoori masala, you can just use a mixture of different spices that you like. And of course, give it all a good mix and our cauliflower is ready. The next thing we're going to do is put it in an oven tray and I've used one with a rack which I later realized was quite useless. Anyway, cook it in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 200 degrees. Now while that's happening, we're going to make our sauce and we're going to start with 2 tablespoons of olive oil. To that, I'm going to add some cumin seeds and some ginger garlic paste and just cook that out. Then I'm going to add in some tomato puree and this is just homemade puree. I took a tomato and I blitzed it into puree. That simple. Now I'm going to add my spices which are red chili powder, garam masala, coriander powder, turmeric and some kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. This is the butter chicken or the makhani flavor. Then I'm just going to mix it all up. Put the lid on and cover it and cook it for about 10 minutes. Now that it's done cooking, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of coconut milk. And the coconut milk is a substitute here for the cream so that it is a vegan recipe. And I'm going to add some fresh coriander. Give it all a good mix. And that's it, our sauce is ready. Now that our cauliflower is done cooking in the oven, we're going to take it out. Put it in a bowl and pour that sauce right over and give it all a good mix. You want that flavor to go right into the cauliflower. Once that's done, we're going to put it back in the oven tray and as you can see, I'm not using the rack because, well, I don't need it. It's not a chicken wing that has skin that needs to get crispy. Anyway, back in the oven for a good 10-15 minutes at about 200 degrees and that's it. And oh yes, the cauliflower is done. Look at that. It looks delicious. Time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste these cauliflower makhani bites. and. Again, like I said, this is a bit of a cheat recipe. This is the same thing I did to the butter chicken wings and that was the idea behind this. It's a lovely vegan snack. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let me taste. Mm. Oh yeah. That is very flavorful. Absolutely yummy. Mm. Oh, nice. Now I've just taken a bite of a bigger piece. And obviously the uh, the sauce is not really gone all the way through it so if you want a cauliflower that packs a wee bit more punch I would just recommend cutting the florets a little smaller so that the sort of marinade gets all around it but apart from that this is a fantastic vegan snack uh, you can make it in advance and keep it and just microwave it I think it will be perfect and yeah I really like it I'm going to go and finish this now and I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Mm, cauliflower. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you like what I'm doing, you can click here and subscribe to the channel. You can click here and support us on Patreon. And if you didn't know, I'm a musician and I've got a brand new song note and you can listen to it here. And if you like my band, you can check out stuff here. So yeah.